Greetings, my alphas. This video is going to be a little different than what we usually have on the channel. I hope everyone's had a good day and a good week, and we're about to step into a weekend, so that's always fun. Anyway, I've made this video because we've had certain drama unfold amongst the fandom and along YouTube, just in general, really. But let me uh, step into it now. So this channel that this whole drama is based around is coming from the PG Queen 92. I'm sure many are familiar with the name because it's popped up on many occasions throughout the last few weeks and this person has been accused of stealing videos by putting her own watermark above others and claiming the video as her own. <sighs> Just had to get that long, irritated sigh out for a moment. Now, a part of me knows that making this video is a probably a waste of my time, but I'm going to make this anyway because I'm done with the drama and I just want it to end. So, this video is to call you out, PG Queen 92. What the f***? You know, most of the time when drama like this unfolds, I try to stay out of it, especially when it doesn't really pertain to me and it doesn't affect me directly. But I became a part of this drama when you decided to tag one of my friends with the intent to bash her. And don't even try to defend yourself because you went out of your way by tagging her in the post with pictures that you had screenshotted circling the amount of subscribers she had when she went from one big number to the next. Why did you do that? What was the point? Were you jealous? I ask you if you are jealous because you also put in the caption YouTube logic with a question mark as if you thought it was some random glitch. It wasn't a glitch. Heaven forbid another channel just successfully gained subscribers in the honest way. My friend gained her subscribers and keeps growing because she's talented. She puts hard work and effort into her videos and people pay attention to that effort. And this isn't to say you don't put effort into your videos because I've seen you do that before. It's those videos that you actually take the time, effort, and love towards it that they actually are some of your best edits. But I have one question why steal videos it just confuses me because we know you can edit you wouldn't have the subscribers you have if you didn't have the time love and care into your videos so why go and steal them when you can just create them yourself why would you put yourself into a position that would lead to people to not trust you when they find out you're accused of something as serious as video theft I'm sorry, but when people have these accusations towards you and they have proof to show otherwise, it's hard to trust someone who you thought was honest. How do you expect others to feel when they see that information? And, you know, here's my thing. If you're innocent in all this, then why get upset like you do? Because I'll tell you this for free. No one, and I mean absolutely no one, goes out of their way to react in the ways that you have if you were innocent. The way you have been acting, the way that you talk to people, the way that you've backlashed at other people for calling you out on your BS, that's exactly what a person does when they have been proven guilty of the things they're accused of. I'm going to give you a little bit of advice from one YouTuber to another. Grow up, stop playing the victim, take accountability for your actions, and delete what you stole. If you can be the bigger person and take the fall for the things you've done and make a right by your bad decisions, then you have a lot of potential to still grow. And just so we're clear, this video is not made in the intent to bash you, but it's meant to call you out, to expose you of your wrongdoings, and to show you that there are consequences when you make bad decisions. You're an adult just like me, and you need to start acting like the adult you're supposed to be. Set an example for those who are younger than us. If people that follow you who are younger than you see that you steal videos and they think that's okay, then they're only inclined to do that when they decide they want to become YouTube famous. I mean, be honest with yourself. 
Is that really the image you want to leave behind? The impact that you want to set for other people? Don't you want something better than that? I mean, being a part of the How to Train Your Dragon fandom on YouTube is such an experience. You get to meet so many different people from all walks of life that enjoy one simple thing like you do. And making videos to these beautiful movies is something else. You know, friendship, love, and unity is a big part of the How to Train Your Dragon franchise. I hope that one day you'll understand what those mean. And a part of being in this fandom is being able to celebrate when your friends and your community have succession. I've seen so many of my friends on YouTube grow and surpass me. It makes me incredibly proud to see that they've grown in the ways I always knew they could. That's what being in this fandom is about. Maybe one day you'll understand that too. So, I'm not going to sit here and tell you what you need to do. You're a grown-ass adult just like me. But I can tell you that if you don't make the right decisions, someone else will. And unfortunately, that would probably mean the undoing of your channel, which is something I don't want to see, to be honest. Do better, PG Queen 92 And that's probably the end of this conversation. I just needed to get this off my chest because it's been irritating me for the last few days. And the more posts I see on the situation... The, mo the more I began to realize I needed to just say something. Whether it does any good or not is a whole other story. I hope the rest of my alphas have a wonderful night. And thank you for listening to me rant for almost seven minutes. Bye!